Good morning all my friends and, and everybody out there today. I'm Angela. I'm with uh, FitStrongLean.com. I'm also a Beachbody coach. Today is February 5th, 2013. Um, I have some pretty fun things going on um, in my life and I hope you do too. Um, I've had my my water and been drinking my water. I'm going to talk about this, this interesting glass later. Um, so to start off the day, I want to go over our quote of the day. It's by Niccolo Machiavelli, and it says, Never was anything great achieved without danger. That's an interesting one. Uh, so you're saying that, uh, you know, in order to do anything great, I have to do something dangerous? Well, yes, in a matter of speaking. Uh, you know, anytime we take any kind of risk, um, whether it's something, you know, huge, maybe climbing Mount Everest, you know, or... Um, maybe it's something small but it still involves risk you know you approach that um you know that person that looks like maybe they need help and and you go offer to go help them i mean there's some risk involved in that maybe that person um doesn't really need help and maybe is setting you up who knows um i mean it could be anything but the the fact is is that th there's always a risk and that can lead to danger um, in some way or another, but in order to become uh, become great, you you just have to face those those risks and just take them. That can be hard for some people. <laughs> um, I've not always been much of a risk taker, um, but that has changed over you know the course of the last ten years or so. It, it really has changed. So you never know what to expect. Um, a personal update on me. And I, I talked yesterday, I talked about um, Shakeology. I have not had today's dose yet. I'm going to actually save it for, sorry, save it for after I work out today. Um, yesterday I did it before I worked out, and then I, I think I've decided that for me it'll work out better after I do that. So, uh, but one thing, if you recall, I said that Shakeology kind of scrubs out your system, and you know, acts like a scrub brush in your system. Uh, I have. I, I also knew <laughs> that uh, you know in my head that it can it can cause some detox symptoms uh, and so that's another reason why I had only been doing half of a bag uh, you know a serving because I so for some people that have uh, especially if you have a lot of excess weight on you like I do uh, you don't want necessarily to detox very quickly because there can be a lot of uh, symptoms that can kind of go along with that. Um, for instance, I, I went and um, I just pulled uh, I pulled some information. I believe I got it from WebMD. Um, some of the common detox symptoms are some of them are not so pleasant. Are flatulence, pimples, increased thirst, cravings, runny nose, headaches, constipation, insomnia, fatigue, fever, diarrhea, bloating, nausea flu-like symptoms, bad breath, and dizziness. Um, yesterday I really had uh, some problems with, um, I, actually since I started really heavily working out, I've had some problems with fatigue about 30 minutes to an hour after I work out, I get really tired. And I wondered what that, what was going on there, and this kind of explains that. Um, I, I've had a number of those different things, uh, increased thirst, I was just telling someone just the other day, uh, yeah, I've been really thirsty a lot lately. Um, I also have been getting some headaches lately, more so than I, I normally do, um, and and I personally have issues with, um, and this is a this is a common liver problem, um, is really itchy hands or feet, uh, and that's just the toxins coming out of your body. Basically those toxins, you know, when you start to flush them out, they just need to get out. They, they don't care how they get out, they just want to get out. Um, I can speak from personal experience as well that uh, swelling, edema, is also a very common symptom and I've had some swelling in my hands and my feet. Um, but I also know from previous experience that these things will all subside, they will all go away. Um, you know, you just have to keep, you have to just keep pushing the water. You have to drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water and push that out. Um, it's the only way to flush it out. So um, that's partly why I chose to talk about water right off the bat when I, when I started doing these uh, video blogs is because I want people to understand the, the importance of water. We take it for granted so much that, you know, 
oh yeah, I know I should drink water. I know I should. I know I should. And then we don't. We end up replacing with, you know, random other things. And we think, oh, well, it's close enough. I mean, it has water in it, right? You know, uh, technically tea and coffee qualify, but um, in my opinion, it's it's still not just pure water. And that's what our body sometimes just needs is water without anything else. No other additives whatsoever. Our body just needs water. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, that's at facebook.com slash fit.strong.lean.angela. Um, you will find a picture that I posted that discusses, I apologize, there's some sirens outside my house. Um, you will find some pictures that, uh, that uh, sorry, a picture that has a uh, graphical representation of how much water our body actually needs. And it's based on weight. So, you know, it starts off at, I believe, um, I'm not looking at it right now, but I believe at like 20 pounds, you know, so a small child, it says that they need eight ounces a day. Um, that's probably because they're getting other nutrition from other sources, whether it's um, breast milk or formula or regular milk or whatever. You know, a lot of times, you know, little kids who are only 20 pounds, well, they're basically still babies at that point, maybe a year old. So they're, they're still getting their nutrition elsewhere. But then as you get you know, more weight on you, you need more water. For instance, this says that I need, um, I think it was 11 glasses of water. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm pretty heavy. So, um, you know, that's why I have to just continually push the water. I used to just drink diet soda all the time, all the time. And I was, I, al I always had a can or a bottle in my hand. I mean, it was ridiculous. Um, so I may still drink soda now and then, but most of the time I'm still drinking and, you know, now I'm drinking water and I just drink it all the time. So, um, anyway, be aware that as you start working out and as you start, um, the Shakeology, you're going to have some detox symptoms. So if they get, if they get too bad, you know, for instance, you're in the bathroom all the time with diarrhea or something, uh, you know, you need to back off that. So if you start off, say, um, having a full a full bag of this, a full serving of this, and it's just too uncomfortable, back off and only take about half of this and start off there. And then once the detox symptoms subside and you start to feel normal again, um, you know, then you can bump yourself up to the full bag a day. And then you should really start to see some results. Um, so on the note of water, one last thing, um, this goes along just with the theme that I've been talking about, you know, when to drink water. Um, we have talked about uh, first thing in the morning to jump start your engines um, before every meal to help you feel fuller and to help coat your, you know, um, expand your stomach lining so food doesn't irritate it as much. And today it's, it's before a workout. That's, that's another time when you really need to do it. Now, you know, we often say, yeah, you need to drink water during a workout and that's great and that's very true, but you also want to drink water before that workout too. And the reason for that um, is because it's going to help guard you against getting dehydrated. So if you're working out and you haven't had anything to drink before that, by the time you get thirsty while you're working out, you're already getting to that point that you're dehydrated. So you really just have to keep on top of that and say, okay, I'm going to drink a glass of water beforehand. Don't make it a very big glass because we don't want you getting sick. But, but drink a glass of water beforehand um, and then you know, periodically take those water breaks. If you do any of the workout programs from Beachbody, for instance, uh, you know, P90X, they take scheduled water breaks. You need to take those. Whether you think you're thirsty or not, just go ahead, take a couple sips, you know, and then shake everything out like they tell you to, and, and just do do what they're telling you to do because they're doing, they're, they're telling you for a reason. They're telling you because they don't want you to get hurt. Um, so, you know, kind of like the quote, you know, that if you want to be great, you have to risk, you know, you have to face some danger. It can be very dangerous if you're working out and not drinking your water. So, you know, just, just remember that and keep that in mind. Um, also, of course, after you're done with your workout, that's another time when you want to drink some water. I always have, um, I have a glass of water before I start the workout. Basically, this is how it goes so far. I have two glasses when I wake up in the morning. I have a glass of water after I'm done here and I'm, um, you know, and I'm getting ready for my workout. So, so I have a, one glass of water after this before my workout. I drink probably another two glasses 
um, while I'm working out. That's, that's five so far here. Um, and then I have probably another two glasses after I'm after I'm done working out. Of course, those those two are are spread apart a little more. Well, then it's lunchtime, so then I have at least another glass during lunch. Um, we're already at eight, and I'm only at lunch. <laughs> you know, so and then throughout the afternoon and evening, I probably have another, probably another four glasses of water, maybe even one before bed. So I easily get. Um, 12 or so glasses of water now and like I said it didn't used to always be that way but you would be surprised at how much difference that would make and by the way a tip that I that I kind of I, I don't know how I came up with this but I didn't I wanted to stop using um, plastic bottles I didn't want to use I'm, tr I'm trying to get away from plastic as much as possible uh, it's pretty much impossible to do 100% but I'm trying to get away from it uh, so what I found out was uh, I went to and I believe it was uh, uh, slsbottle.com I think I can check on that if you want me to uh, or, or SKS I think it was sksbottle.com um, and I ordered I ordered some of these these are these are glass this is glass here um, it's a glass bottle it's a lot like the bottles you would find maybe uh, tea in or, or something in the store um, and they're actually relatively cheap I think I think a whole case so 12 of these I believe was uh, you know right around twelve dollars it was about a, a dollar a bottle um, and what I do is I I just fill all 12 bottles and I I put them in my fridge so that I can really quick like in the mornings when I have to get kids to school you know I can really quick and just grab that bottle right out of the fridge and and off I go and I have I have my water with me um, I'm not a huge fan of the aluminum bottles. I think they make the water taste funny. I have some plastic water bottles, but again, I'm trying to get away from the plastic. So um, that's that's just kind of my tip of the day on you know being able to have water readily available so that you can you can just have it all the time. It's always with you. So um, no excuses then. You know you you can't complain that you you didn't have time to uh, you know drink your water before you ran out of the house because it required filling a glass and ice and yeah. You know, no, if you just have it ready to go, you can just grab it and go and keep it in your fridge. It's nice and cold. You don't have to worry about ice or anything. So um, anyway, that's that's my spiel on water today. Um, just a reminder, we're going to have a challenge group starting um, March 4th. That's the first Monday of March. I'm looking for about 10 people who want to just make changes to their life. Uh, no cost if you don't want there to be. Um, you're certainly welcome to um, to purchase some of the products I've talked about you know like uh, it's it's you know I'm doing P90X so you know it would be great if other people wanted to do P90X as well uh, if you wanted to start up on the Shakeology just let me know you know I can help you get started on that but you know you can get started without without any kind of investment straight up front so um, I definitely welcome you to come join us with that um, no judging absolutely no judging I, I cannot stress that enough where I am NOT going to judge you I will not allow other people to judge you it's going to be a closed Facebook group nobody can see your post nobody can see your pictures it'll be great um, it'll be just simple daily tasks that anybody can do so um, contact me if you want to do that just go to uh, fitstronglean.com and just hit contact me and send me a message. I did have a shout out to someone who who must message me just yesterday. So thank you, Brittany, for for messaging me, and I hope that that we can get started on on the process of doing that for you. Um, it's going to be a, a 30 day group, so just keep that in mind, and uh, I'll probably start a new group after that, and we'll just keep on going. Um, Anyway, that's that's really all I have today. Make sure to visit the website fitstronglean.com. Um, I have information on the different products that are available. There's information on Shakeology. If you follow the links I have, there's videos that you, that'll tell you all about it. Um, if you are interested in becoming a coach, I would certainly love to have you on my team. Um, and there's also a free workout with Tony Horton. And so definitely check that out as well on my website. So thank you. Have a great day. Drink your water and go work out. I'm going to go do plyo. I'm ready to bring it. Let's go. Bye.